Throughout the duration of Camel Trophy's history, the full range of Land Rover vehicles have been challenged. From the Range Rovers and Series 3s of the early 1980s, to the Defender 90s and 110s of 88 and 89. The 1990s saw the introduction of the Discovery TDI 3-door, and later the 5-door model. Finally, in 1998, the new Freelander was used in Land Rover's final Camel Trophy year. The Land Rover Camel Trophy Partnership was a highly successful combination of great adventure and dramatic four-wheel driving. Loosely referred to as the Olympics of four-wheel driving, the first trophy, held in 1981, was a trip on the Trans-Amazonian Highway. It was undertaken by a group of Germans in Jeep CJ6s. Despite not finishing the trek, it captured the imagination of adventurers across the world. This program follows the last 10 years of Land Rover's involvement in Camel Trophy. The Land Rover, in its many guises of Defender, Discovery, and finally the Freelander, adventured its way around the world, covering over 20,000 kilometers from the heat of the Amazon to the dense jungles of Malaysia and the freezing temperatures of Mongolia and Siberia. However, by 1998, the focus had drifted away from the vehicles and towards special tasks, such as kayaking, orienteering, and mountain biking. This was to be a turning point for Land Rover. And despite the success of Tierra del Fuego and the introduction of the Freelander to the event, they decided to sever their ties with Camel Trophy and make it their last event.